Hi everybody, I'm Joey Paul and I'm an indie author and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I organise my time and my writing and all the rest of it. It's really because somebody asked me to do a video about this and since I have a planner now, I thought that I would take you through how I plan my time, how I organise myself and to do that, excuse the shaky footage, but it's on my phone. So I will switch to that. I thought I would show you a close up of my planner simply because then you can see how I plan my time. This is the week that I'm filming, so I like start on the 20th of July and now it's moving over to um, August. So you can see that on my 31st day I'm filming, it has the record, what else I'm supposed to be doing and all of that. So how I organize my time is very, very simple. I basically set myself one thing work related that has to be done a day i also have things like meepo and days off and other stuff like admin stuff and more days off and i basically plan my time so that i have at least one thing a day that i have to get done and then these are my goals for the month and this is like my planner it's awesome it's um a flowery planner but I really, really have found that using this works really, really well. So like if you see the weekly spread, this is not really a good weekly spread because it only has like three days. But you can see that I basically got my weekly goals. I need got what I need to do that day and then like a day off. But I also have things that I need to do on my days off that aren't negotiable because things like recording a video, I do close captions and they don't come up now until the day after. So I always try and do them the day after. But I also have like these little cat paws which are adorable and I love them. Um, but there we go. So anyway, like this is the general week for me. As you can see, there's one work thing, depending on color code of the day. Sometimes there's more than one because I know that when I'm not writing, I can manage to do things like record a video because I do that first thing in the morning and then I can do things like revise. And every day has like watch YouTube because otherwise my YouTube queue goes through the roof and I just I can't cope with it. I can't keep up. And again, I have my weekly goals of things that need to be done. And then I have my stickers because they are awesome. But like as you saw for this is a another week that I've done. Every time I do something, I get a smiley face sticker. If I've done everything on the list, I get a smiley face sticker. And yeah, it's, it's good fun. So I think the reason it works for me is because I have been someone who started off using just the one thing a day and then um, basically growing from there. And now I have, um, I have such good planning skills that I know that like, what I'm going to do that day and how it's going to work and all the rest of it and I know ahead of time what I'm doing so I can look at the month at a glance, I can look at the week at a glance and I love this planner because there's I write kind of small so there's loads of space if I need to add things or if there's several things to do so like the black is like personal stuff that I need to do or stuff that isn't attributed to a work colour like take the 13th for example the live stream is actually on the 12th US time, but it's on the 13th UK time, so I've decided that I'll do the live stream first thing in the morning, I'll post my video, I'll watch some YouTube, and I'll have a day off because I will be absolutely exhausted. And the rest of my month is basically planned like that, where I have the one thing a day at different colours, so like pink is Project Witch Hunt, um, purple is I Wish I Could Find You, Green is recording stuff and admin stuff and um, orange is revisions and blue is the YouTube always and then I have like my red pen that marks off how many chapters I revised or how many pages I've written stuff like that um, and that then gets included in the count and then at the end of the month that I can get to the end of the month easily you see I have my chapters I've written my pages I've written my words I've written and my books I've read so I have the things like wrap presents and um, because it's Bee's birthday in a few days and um, by the time you see this it will already have been her birthday. But then I have it like basically the whole month through, I do it a month at a glance. So I do it the whole month through um, and then I have like, you know, days off and I have the other bits and pieces that I need to get done and I have my stickers which are awesome. And then like you, you'll see for like September, 
if I can get to that page, it's basically there are some things in um, written in, like when our kittens arrive, um, and um, other stuff like that. But otherwise, I'm only doing August. So I'll do it the, like you see here, it says monthly spread. So I'll do that the month before so that I have some idea of what I need to do and how it's going to work and all the rest of it. So let me switch back to the usual view. So as you can see, I basically plan every month with a monthly spread and then a weekly spread and I have space on the daily spreads to add bits and pieces that come up. I do things like plan a chapter a day, I do recording days, I do revising days, I do days off, I do things like Meepo that I can't work on those days and then if I have other things like the live stream with Savvy I will be taking the day off after that because I know that an early morning is not conducive to good writing but that's simply because I know how I work. I've been using a similar system for the past four or five years and now that I'm switched to a planner it's a lot more portable but it also means that I'm able to sort of like see a bit in advance as you will have seen i plan up until the last of up until the month coming and then at the end of the last month i will plan to sit down and plan out the next month which is a bit of admin duty but it's not too bad because generally speaking by about the third week of the last month i've already penciled stuff in on the next month spread like as you saw on that one september i have my hair did and i have the kittens coming home which is super awesome and i'm super excited about it and it's gonna be really really soon I think it's like two weeks and I'm just I'm super super excited about it because they are adorable but yeah so I, I will plan things like that if they're coming in advance like on October I have a friend coming to stay so that's already penciled in when she arrives when she leaves etc etc but then I'll work my schedule around those things so like I'll be able to do I won't be able to record videos for my friends here because I do them early in the morning and she'll be sleeping downstairs so that seems kind of rude to record videos while someone's trying to sleep so I will be doing my my October videos first thing in the month and then all at the end of the month but that's doable and that's why I love my planner because it means I can set myself one thing a day and it means on the days that I only do that one thing great on the days that I'm struggling to do that one thing I can move things around it doesn't have to be that day that I do it I can do it another day if I want to and I have all my sacred days off which is something that I cannot talk about enough is you need days off you need days that are either days when you say to yourself if I don't manage all of this I'll catch up or even if I don't mind all of this I'm taking the day off because you just you need time to recharge and relax and all of that so yes that's how I plan my time that's how I plan my writing that's how I organize myself and how it works for me what do you do to organize your time and if you don't organize your time has this helped you in any let me know in the comments down below so that's all I've got time for today if you want to support my channel you can comment like or subscribe I post new videos on Thursdays and sometimes I post them on Sundays too you can find me all over social media and my books are available everywhere. And don't forget to pre-order Crumming Chronicles, The First Twinge. And if you do pre-order, don't forget to grab the swag. All the links for which are listed below. Thanks for watching and remember to keep writing. Bye.